Bosh this then. Romanes aeunt domus. People call Romanes, they go the house. It, it says Romans go home. No, it doesn't. Sawete omnes, nomen mihi est Dominus Wongus. Hello, everyone. My name is Slave Master Wongus. Sawete uh, omnes, nomen mihi est Margarita or Pearl. And I'm the co host. Margarita. Yes. Of, of co host of the dedicated Uni High Latin podcast, Satan Freeman. How are you, Pearl? I'm all right. I just had a sack. I'm feeling a bit out of it. I'm yep. recovering from a sickness, but you know, yep. getting better. I'm on the mend. And you? Yep. I'm, um, I had whatever was going around as well. Um, yeah, so, uh, but I'm, I've been fine, haven't missed school, mm. still exercising as usual, just a little more slowly. Um, yeah, I'm not sounding like Lindsay Lohan anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, but just still don't make me laugh because I'll probably start coughing. That's the main thing. So, no, I'm the same. No humor yep. this episode. Yep, yep. All right. Stop. Yep. All serious. Yep, okay. So, uh, we have a, we have a guest today, a guest mm -hmm. I've wanted uh, we've wanted to get on for a long time, but just for some reason or another, we haven't been able to. Who is our guest today, Phil? Our oh, guest today is the lovely Ms. Gara O'Reilly, Latin and classics teacher at Uni High. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you very much for this invitation. I, yeah. I feel very honoured. How are you, Marie? I'm well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, what would you like to talk about? Um, we've got my nice little itinerary here for today, but first of all, you want to introduce yourself, tell us what you do around the okay, school. Okay, so my name's Marie Gar Riley. I've been at this school. I think uh, Miss Chetty and I are the oldest ones at this school. We've been here the longest, I'd say. You don't look a day over 21, <laughs> Marie. No, really. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so I, I love teaching at this school. I love the students. I think the students are fabulous. I've been teaching, I started here teaching drama and history and English. Not even I knew this. And um, yeah, I was the drama faculty for a while oh, when wow. I started here. Um, and then uh, I never thought I would get to teach classical studies at a high school because all my teaching rounds were at private school. And at, in those days, it would tended to be a private school subject. So when I came back after having 10 years off to raise my family, I was thrilled that classics was up and running. And um, that's where my first love is. But I do love teaching um, classics. And up until, was it about four years ago, five years ago, maybe four years ago, I think, I started teaching Latin and found a new love. <laughs> so is it true that you learned Latin over the summer a little bit ago? And <laughs> but, well, teaching? the way I jumped into Latin, well, that's a, a story in itself. But um, I don't know if you remember Miss Corbett. And um, Miss when did you say yeah, Miss Day? 20, 20, yeah. So yeah. Miss Corbett and Miss Day in the in the library, yeah. they used to teach junior Latin, and I remember them being in the office. And Miss Day said, "No, I really need to be in the library full time." But they needed someone to take the Year Seven class, and I remember them saying, "Anyone could teach Latin." <laughs> I thought, "Well, I love the you know, you know all the social historical stuff that goes with it." I said, I'd give it a go. And yeah. I thought, well, you know, my daughter had just completed three years of Latin at university. And that's how I started. So she was trying to teach me over the summer break. And I thought, oh, my God, what have I got myself into? <laughs> I'm never going to understand all this. And then it just starts to drop into place and you start to see the patterns and, yeah. um, and you get enthralled by the literature and... That's that's how it took off. So when my students are struggling, I say, I know how you feel, <laughs> but it will get better. Believe me. Uh, oh, just on, just on that, just I have a, just a question off the cuff. Uh, how have you found um, like the classics um, before you did Latin and after you've done Latin? Like just uh, the difference. There's in... so much more you can pick up. Yeah. So much more. Yeah. Um, because in classics, obviously, we work in translations, mm. but um, every now and then when you're reading, um, say, a journal article or something like that, and they they have the Latin there, and you think, oh, yeah, I can understand that, mm. how that how they get that yeah. now. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely enhanced it. Yeah. I remember we were having a discussion when we were doing um, Aeneid yeah. last year about um, Virgil using the word cunctantem, which means hesitating, yep. I'm pretty sure, as a PAP. Yep, yep. Um, and um, how that affected 
the analysis that we were learning through in class, and we were able to do that because of the Latin knowledge, that's, and it really helps right. with both subjects. Yeah, yeah. and the thing with um, the Aeneid in particular, um, we work with a translation that I'm not a big fan of because yeah. you don't get the the sense of verse, you know, mm -hmm. um, but it is truer to the translation, but it just doesn't read like a poem. Yeah, um, which is my only gripe with it. But yeah, I um, too. yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've got a couple of questions um, sure. lined up for you, if that's yeah. all right. Yeah. Um, just kind of like get to know you sort of questions. So uh, we'll start yeah. off with... Before, before you do it, I, I, was, I, I yeah. find it very interesting as well with classics, um, like uh, how you can analyse it without scansion and everything. Like that just adds so much well, more. Like yeah, just, but we, yeah, we can't... The poetry. Yeah. I know, but just, yeah. We can't do Sorry. any of the, you know, assonance yeah. or yeah. alliteration mm. or, it's just, yeah. or so poetic just, form. The Latin just yeah. adds a whole nother level oh, it to would. it. Yeah, yeah it so. would. Definitely. It's like yeah. trying to, re it would be like trying to analyse poetry without any of the real, you know, sort of um, sound devices. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, on to yeah, the... Definitely. Um, so just pretty light hard questions. We'll start off easy. What's your favorite TV show if you've got one or movie or well, book or something? I like? absolutely loved Peaky Blinders yeah. and was <laughs> so upset when it ended. And then I really got into Babylon Berlin, which I loved as well. Uh, and at the moment, because of my daughter, I've been getting into Taskmaster oh. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. and finding that really <laughs> quite fun too. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Peaky Blind is setting Birmingham or something. Yeah, right? yeah, it's somewhere it's, like that. Yeah, yeah. It, the character development yeah. of um, the main character is mm. just astounding by the end of it. Yeah. Um, I'll add it to my list then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't I've know. Heard time, good things. I don't, yeah, I've heard it. I haven't tried to watch TV or streaming or whatever. But um, Wait, there's so many episodes. Yeah. That's the thing. Once you commit to a series, and I, yeah. I'm always looking for movies because, you know, I can't yeah. really commit to series unless Especially it's a holiday. Especially modern series because they have like 50 minute episodes and there's like 10 of them and it's just ugh, yeah. so much. The only thing I know about it from a football soccer perspective is I think an actor or actors have um, bought into Birmingham City Football Club, like from Peaky Blinders. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, Chili yeah. Murphy? I'm not sure, but somebody, yeah, so, there's some relation okay. to them and the, they've actually like bought the local <laughs> football club or something. Oh, wow. Well, really? have a, Okay. Have a stake in the local football club. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Um, next question of a similar vein: a favorite film or actor? I might already know this from last year's low office activity, end of your activity. Probably, if I had to pick one film, and that would be hard. But if I had to pick one film, it would be Blade Runner. Yeah. Um, it was groundbreaking. It's. I remember the first time it came out. That was before the director's cut. Uh, we went to the Dramana Drive-In to watch it. Yep. <laughs> I was with some uni students. So you know what, a, just checking, you do, do you do know what a drive-in is. <laughs> There's not many the left. Room. Yeah, there used, there used to be a lot of them. Yeah, I think sure. the one in yeah. Coburg's gone. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I know the Coburg one. Oh, oh is that the one that's Dramana. still there? The one in Dramana's still there, okay. surprisingly <laughs> enough. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, and our favourite actor? I think I know this from the load well, office activity last the, year. Maybe. I like the I, can, I actually guess. like the versatility of, of um, Brad Pitt. Yeah. Have you seen him in Inglorious Bastards? Yeah. No, I haven't. Oh, he's so yeah. funny. I've seen him in too many movies. I think I spoke yeah. about this last week. I've seen Brad Pitt too much recently. He's, I've been done with him. I I always feel like he's a character actor in a leads leads body. Exactly. So he gets the lead roles because you know he's got the looks and that. But he's actually a character actor. He's so funny. Mm -hmm. He's gonna really go, good. Yeah. Gonna go kill some Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, one of my favorite films is Moneyball. Ah, uh, now yeah. you know I actually haven't seen that one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. and the other one, Burn After Reading. He's uh, so funny yeah. in Burn After Reading. He plays a personal trainer, <laughs> and like a really. Um, how can I put it in, in, in uh, politically correct terms? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, very funny. Okay. Yeah. Um, I remember at the start of Classics, like before Classics started with orientation, you were like, watch Troy. If anything, yeah. watch it for Brad Pitt. He's so pretty. <laughs> in those days. Yeah. But uh, uh, the good thing about watching the film is that it, you get your head around the main characters' names because they're all difficult yeah. names to remember and it can be very confusing if you yeah. don't know what's going on, and then have Homer's language on top of it. Yeah. Um, moving on, um, yeah. our next subject, 
Uh, no, no, we said, oh, you said your first love is classic. Uh, what about in favorite subject? What about in school? Like what language, what I subject did you do at art. school? Yeah. I yeah. loved art. That was my favorite subject. Yeah. Like about. visual or performing? Or... No, no, uh, visual. I yeah. used to sketch and paint and I loved it. Awesome. Uh, and I actually wanted to be an art teacher for a while, mm. uh, but I was discouraged. Mm. I was discouraged. Have you, uh, speaking of art, have you submitted an artwork for that competition? I haven't. I don't, I haven't touched any of my um, art materials yeah. for such a long time. The only thing I've started getting into is dressmaking. I've joined okay. the Sewing Guild and there's some amazing women there. It's only once a month luckily uh so i can commit to that i'm pretty sure you could submit if you had a if you'd made a dress you could you could definitely submit that you just have to find a i don't know to, a mannequin yeah, a mannequin to <laughs> hang it on yeah i have submitted something by the oh, way oh good so, good yes. what did you submit i what, can't tell you what, obviously what, because what you've got genre? To guess. Yeah, uh, wait, wait. no i can't say but all i'll say is that i didn't do it like just then it was something i did at school is it a it painting or 3D? I can't say. I can't oh, say. can't even no, tell. No, 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 because it'll give it away. Like you know. Oh, there'll be only one of it. The, I'm not sure, but just I don't okay. want to give Ooh. clues. Ooh. But, um, Interesting. But yeah, all I'll say is I did it at school, um, and it got in the school annual, like um, the picture, yeah, yeah, like you know, just the oh, picture, fabulous. So, yeah. Yeah. so yes. Um, Mm. Next question is one of my favourites, is if you could have any dinner guest, dead or alive, they are alive at dinner. Or yeah, yeah. someone who is not with us anymore, but when you're having dinner with them, they are alive. So it's yeah. not like weekend events. No, Celebrity there's, or friend or there's one character. person I would love. I remember writing an essay on him when I was at university and I was just totally in his world, and that was Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, that's first. Yeah, Pretty I would incredible. love amazing brain. Um, I thought she was about to say Caprio there. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I would love to have Leonardo da Vinci, and I would love to for him to see our flying machines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, skip that one. Skip that one. Okay. Um, what is do you think is the best and worst thing about Latin? Best first. The best, it's just so much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun. Um, and I love the fact that it's uh, not so, you know, there's, you know, it's a dead language, don't I? but it's being used a lot more. Um, you know, there's Romanus TikTok and there's, they did um, the story of Romulus and Remus in Latin. Um, so I love the fact that it's becoming more spoken than it than it was yeah it, it, it is absolutely like if you know enough it is absolutely everywhere like yeah yeah so yeah it's it is a dead it, language oh well, actually it isn't dead it just morphed yes, into all in these other forms, languages kind of, yes, yeah. yeah and language is a living thing it changes mm. all the time Dynamic. yeah mm. worst thing worst thing <laughs> worst thing can i think of a worst thing it can be really challenging yeah um, trying to get my head around third declension the first time was really hard. Third declension is just mean, though, isn't it? Mm. Then confident. I found that lovely video <laughs> about the Russian Revolution and about the third declension, and without the third declension, there is no libertas, <laughs> and that made it fun. Mm. Very content rich. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> I think we'll skip that one. Yeah. Um, which primary school did you go to? Like or, went, or which secondary school? Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Sorry, I, went, school. I went to schools very close to here, actually. Oh, yeah. My primary school was called St. Bridget's. Mm -hmm. I think it's now Simmons College oh, so on it's, Nicholson it's Street. The Boys Street. Oh, the boys' school. Yeah, on Nicholson Street. Oh, okay. That was my primary school. Okay. And in my day, it went up to year eight. Ooh. And my high school was nicknamed the Academy of Many Idiots <laughs> because it was the Academy of Mary Immaculate, which is opposite uh, the exhibition buildings. Oh, all right. So, because I grew up on Brunswick Street. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, do you have any pets? We're picking up a puppy next weekend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we lost our dog August last year mm. and it's uh, really, you know, really knocked us all around, the whole family. And it took us a while to think about whether we'd get another dog. And uh, we decided to go with another Westie, but a little girl, not a little boy this time. And we pick her up next weekend. Oh, 
Do you have a name in mind? Well, we haven't had time. Home? Yeah, like I, I like Lottie, and but we're looking at Calliope at the moment. Oh, yeah, the muse of epic poetry Ooh, seems no, to no, be not Cerberus. No, the... was August named after Augustus by chance? Who's August? Your August. Oh, no, no, she said, Oh, we the lost dog the dog in August. August. His oh. name was Horatio, Hamlet's, <laughs> Hamlet's best friend. He was named Horatio because he was Hamlet's best friend. I thought you were, I no, but we name. wanted a pretentious name. My, dog my dog. Dog. August. No, it wouldn't be a bad name, though. No, oh, no, Gus. Yeah. Yeah. Gus, yeah. Um, you know, my daughter's category, because she's the one that's had to keep paying for it. And we don't want to keep it after. But um, her. She has only one um, clear specification. It needs to be a pretentious name. Oh, very important. Yeah, naturally, naturally. Um, do you have any advice for younger Latin students? Oh, just Latin students. In, what's yeah. your, if you would go to advice, like one or two things you'd like, say? Like, oh, what, with, remember when you do this? With, with grammar. Like this? Or just any, any, grammar, anything. Grammar, learning. Or life. Yeah. Oh, no, do you, about Latin. Could about be, Latin. Could be uh, life advice as well. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, what advice? Oh, gee, oh, that's really stumped me. One, which one is the most you can, important? Two or three. Yeah. Well, look for the verb. Yep. Remember the, the joke? I always tell them to joke about Cicero. Yeah, I was saying this joke yeah. yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can tell so, the joke just for those who don't know it. <laughs> well, those of you who don't know it, all right? So Cicero is delivering his speech at the Senate. And... Do you know this, Bill? Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So one of the senators arrives five minutes late and he's listening and he's listening and he says to the senator next to him, what's he talking about? He says, don't know, he hasn't gotten to the verb yet. So that's probably number one. Number two, uh, prepositional phrases. Mm. Uh, when you're trying to uh, translate, look at your prepositional phrases. But... I don't know. I'm a novice. I still consider myself a novice. I look to my daughter for advice because <laughs> at home I don't have Mr. Wong, but I do have my daughter. <laughs> and um, she is uh, she's working with a student that has a, a lot of learning difficulties, but who's developed a lot for Latin now and is actually going to continue with it in year 12. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, I think anyone can learn Latin. Yeah, Absolutely. I do. No, that wasn't that wasn't incredible. Yeah, that no, was um, my daughter was denied learning Latin at high school because she didn't pass a, an entrance exam, mm. and she took it up at uni and has loved it ever since. And is doing her final year of teaching to teach Latin. Amazing. Yeah, that was nearly me with the um, AP course. The yeah, classes. exactly. And then exactly. I picked it up when you're is mainstream. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. That's yeah. That's why I love the mainstream course because I see some of the students. Yeah. Like Pearl and people who are yeah. there really want to be there. They're not just there because yeah. 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 They're an AP and they have to do Latin. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Um. Do you listen to any other podcasts? I'm not really listening to any podcast at the moment. I was listening to. There's a really great Roman series one. Um. I think his name's Duncan, but he goes through all the Roman history. He's fabulous. And the guy that does the Greek isn't bad. Um, he's sort of using the Roman as the model one. But um, the other one is Rhiannon Evans. She does some really amazing podcasts. Um, I've heard her speak. She, uh, Latrobe in the city used to have these lectures at uh, City Library. Um, and they were wonderful. And Rhiannon Evans is just fabulous. Awesome. Um, and this is a little segment we do. Um, is there anything you need to rant about? Or anything that's anything you need to get off your chest? Right now? Rant about. Or anything keeping you sane at the moment? Mr. Wong just... can go first. He's always got a rant ready. What's was, your rant? I was at the footy last night. Um, there you go. My team lost because uh, we only had two. We only had two players interchanging on the bench out of five by the end. So very proud effort. Very first time I've actually clapped the team off the field after a loss for a while. Because even though we lost, I was very proud of their effort in the circumstances. Um, not going to blame the umpires, uh, but there were some very questionable decisions, and um, yeah, so yeah, I'm always annoyed when um, we lose, especially on a Thursday or Friday because it just annoys you for the whole weekend, yeah. Um, but yeah, some calls, uh, for those who are in the knowing footy, they talk about umpiring, they said four types of umpiring 
normal circumstances, last quarter, wet weather and grand final. So the one that pretty much decided the game, like I do not think they would give that free kick in the last few minutes of a grand final. Mm. So but because this is just a normal game, they just do. So yeah. Mm. Anyway, that's that's it. But that's on, all right. That's good. On to the next game. Yep. Uh, but in uh, keeping me sane, I yeah, the last few weeks have been incredibly hectic, but I've got over a little bit of a hill at the moment in terms of all the work I've had to do. So, and part of that was doing corrections at the football last night. So, yeah. yeah. What's keeping me sane is knowing we're going to have a puppy in the house. That's oh, yes. what's keeping me yeah. sane. Yeah. Um, and also our house has been very quiet because my <clears throat> eldest daughter has been doing some coursework at um, Canberra, but she comes home and she's very so I expect the house to be much louder from here on in. <laughs> but she, yeah, does she take? Surely doesn't take after you then. You're not. No, I'm not that loud. Yeah, not that but loud. when the two girls get together, like my son's in, in uh, Canada, yeah. when the three of them together is really bad. But yeah. when, when it's the two of them, that's bad enough. Yeah. But um, yeah, the, she's got a big voice. She's got a voice that projects. Yeah. Anything you want to get off your chest with her? Yeah. Oh, uh, apparently um, our battery in our house might blow up because of the, the oh, company. Oh, lithium? Yeah, the oh. company um, that's, uh, they've had an incident with some with one person who's bought a battery from them. Um, and now we have to shut off all our power to turn the battery off every night. Yeah, you don't want it. Yeah, you don't want to quite a few cases. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, quite a few cases so of them combusting. So going a little bit powerless in my house right yeah. now, which, you know, isn't fun. Yeah, just one of those PSA don't charge like electric scooters and you know those lithium lithium ion batteries. Mm, yeah, yeah. So there's yeah. increased um, yeah incidences of fire house fires. Yeah. Yeah, and I reckon what's yeah. Sorry. Well, what? <laughs> oh, me, I, oh, I thought you were on to the next bit. No, sorry. Right, never, in okay, second, sorry. In a um, what's keeping me sorry is my dog. She's lovely. I think I've shown oh, so you a million got... pictures of her. Pepper. No, I haven't seen it. She's a little cocker spaniel. She's not little. Oh. She's four years old. She's a little cocker spaniel. She's uh, blue roan. Very sweet. I love it a bit. Um, and Does she sleep on your bed? Yeah, she's not allowed to, but she makes her way up anyway. <laughs> my daughter bought little steps for the dog oh, to get onto her bed. That's so, that's so precious. No, actually, you can do the drum roll. Go on. All right. Everyone's <laughs> favorite segment. Is Pearl's Pearl of Wisdom. We still need a visual. We still need a visual. I'm sorry, I'm right. sorry, no, no, I'm uh, if Pearl or someone else make it. Yes, to our 14, okay. to our 14 or so viewers. <laughs> uh, today's Pearl of Wisdom is um, third conjugation verbs and how irregular and common they are. Yeah. So these are the most common verb forms. You, these are your uh, regos, they are your. I'm blanking. Mito, uh, duco. Mito, all yeah. these words. Duco. Yeah. Um, Pico, all these words. Um, they, yeah. Picos, I think they're the ones with the most compounds as well. Yeah. yeah. So these are the most common verb form you will find in your O errors. Mm -hmm. um, and, but they are also the most irregular. Um, first and foremost, um, they, they're a bit, uh, what's the word, tricky in how they look. Yeah. They've got mm -hmm. like the air mm -hmm. ending and the O at the start, but they um, use the vowel E to um, go before the ending. So if you get the word rego, for example, um, the third person singular is regget. Yeah. Mm. It's not regget or regot yeah, or anything right. you think yeah. that would make sense yeah. with yeah. the um, principal yeah. parts. That's right. Um, uh, and with the imperative, they also take that e. So, for example, if you have amare, obviously the imperative singular is ama, and mm. the imperative plural is amate. Mm -hmm. It takes the a from the thing. With these ones, it takes the e as well. The i. That is mm. sorry, not the letter e. It's the e sound. The letter mm. i. Um, uh, they have no major trends at all for the um, third principal part, you know, with your... And fourth. And yeah. fourth, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or with your um, first, second, whatever's. They have they have that trend. They have the are we, the ooh we, the ee we. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These ones, they can really be whatever. So this is like your persuasives. Persuasives, yeah. So yeah. they're going to end in an I, but what comes before that is... It's anyone's is, guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Your the wild, meses, the wild your persuasives. Yeah. 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 Um, and with their deponent forms for um, the more advanced students for the yeah. most for the more advanced students um deponent forms uh the infinitive in deponent is not like the ari or eri that you see with other things so like conor conari it takes the ari um <clears throat> as an ending and all the other ones do with um third conjugation deponent verbs they just have an e end like in loqui or sequi no it's not loqui 
Laquiri or yeah. Laquiri or anything yeah. like that. It just goes to E. Yeah. Um, so they're not the funnest to deal with. Yeah, I think teaching wise, I'm always a little wary. Like it's because uh, the first time I'm about to start with the year nines. At the first time you realize that adjectives don't have the same endings necessarily. Yeah, that's yeah, right. So you just got to yeah, be very careful how you teach it. So Yeah, yeah. no, definitely. Mm. Um, also. Oh, then now. Oh, that's a, the claim, but, uh, but third conjugation as well. Third conjugation as well. Mm. It's the threes in Latin. Yeah, yeah, threes. the threes. Yeah. yeah. Third conjugation. Yeah. Third declension is worse, yeah. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Well, a lot of them. Yeah. Um, and um, is, that, is there anything else to talk about with third conjugation? Might, we, oh, so we have to, we're putting Marie on the spot here. Um, any mottos you want to bring up or any phrases of note or, or student of the week? You want to give a shout out to any student students? Of the week. Like maybe year seven. Uh, Someone you've given a um a green I haven't slip to. I haven't, but a yeah. consistent if I'm looking at someone who's consistent and engaged all the time, it'd have to be Ishan. Ishan. Yeah. So Ishan is our student of the week. This is your Latin class or your class? My, my, my Latin class. Which you level? Year seven. Year seven yeah. Yeah. So maybe oh, it might be a good idea to give Ishan a one of those green. But the green ones for safe. Because the ones we've got at the moment are just for safe oh, behavior. Right. Yeah. They're not okay. the other ones, but, but yeah, yeah, something in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. Um, and any mottos or maybe common mm. Latin terms you get in classics? Like I remember when you're doing a knee. Oh, we get your pietas. Pietas, your furor. Yeah. 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 They come up all the time in Latin. But this. At the moment, we're looking at the Greek ones for yeah, tragedy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fair enough. Yeah. Um, is that everything? I think that's it. For today? Yeah, that's it for today. I'd yeah. just like to end with if it wasn't for the Romans, we wouldn't have any of the Greek literature and stuff as yes. well. So thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank so you, Romans. Thank you, Romans. <laughs> what, what have the Romans ever done for us? <laughs> well, you know, there's the aqueduct. Yeah, but what other than that, what else have they done? For what us? else have they done other than Oh, city, plan city. city planning? Yeah, but what else? <laughs> Cement? We'll leave it with lunch time. All right. So <laughs> thank you very much. Absolute uh, pleasure. Marie. Thank yes. you. It was fun. And uh and walete omnes. Walete omnes. Walete. Terra alikuyos. <laughs> <laughs>